Hello and welcome to the Indian Beat. Today is February 20th, and back on this day in 2005, American journalist Hunter S. Thompson died of suicide by gunshot wound in Woody Creek, Colorado. In 1937, the first automatic airplane was created in Santa Monica, California. In 2011, late great Kobe Bryant beat the East team in the NBA All-Star Game. The score was 148-143. to The MVP was Kobe Bryant. In 2018, Venezuela is the first country to have a virtual currency. Finally, in 2016, Donald Trump wins the South Carolina Republican primary, while Hillary Clinton wins Nevada Democratic primary. All this happened on this day in history of February 20th. Any 7th or 8th grader that is planning on running track, if you have a physical on file, you are welcome to stay after school and practice with the high school team. A current year physical must be on file. Any questions, please see or email Coach Webb. The cast already had an opportunity to sell tickets to their families, which will allow those members an opportunity to have preferred seating. As extended family members, I think it is only fitting to offer you the same chance. The show is set for Saturday, March 14th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, March 15th at 5 p.m. Adult tickets are $5 each. Student tickets are $3 each. If you are interested in purchasing tickets and taking advantage of the preferred seating, please order your tickets by Monday, February 24th. You can get them, get tickets from Mr. Hoggett and Mr. Zimmers. Tomorrow for lunch we are having fiesta stick with salsa, corn, refried beans, applesauce, pears, and milk. The St. Vincent House in Indianapolis, Indiana serves people that have family in St. Vincent Hospitals if the family lives farther than 60 miles away. This takes the hardship of travel away from the family. The importance of St. Vincent House was realized by one of our own, Kayla Poole, a Union City Community High School graduate and a Union City resident, was care flighted on October 3, 2019 to the St. Vincent Women's Center. Her and her husband, Devin, also a graduate of Union City Community High School, were inspecting twins. An emergency section was necessary. The twins were born 15 and a half weeks early. Being two hours away from home and having two sons in the NICU for an extended period of time, travel and expenses that come with it would prove to be taxing, adding further burden to an already stressful situation. Safe Visit House relieved some of that burden by providing a home away from home for the family. This is made possible by the generous donations and volunteers. Devin and Kayla stayed at a St. Vincent house where they were allowed to stay for three nights a week for no cost and volunteers provided some free meals. The St. Vincent house had wish list items that would take donations for it and now Union City would like to give back. The wish list items would be appearing on posters located around the building. If you would like to donate any of these items to the St. Vincent house, bring all the donations to the high school office or Mrs. Pollitt's classroom. Room 201, thank you for your support.